Now we will talk about the interference of light. Two slits A and B illuminated by a single monochromatic source S. Yes. Access a coherent sources, the wave from these two coherent sources travel in some medium and superpose at various points as depicted here. The crest of the wave frames are shown by thick continuous lines and troughs are shown by the broken lines. So this is called as crest and this is called as troughs. At points where the crest of one wave meets the crest of another wave. Or the trough of one wave meets another trough of the other wave. The waves are in phase. The displacement of maximum and these points appear bright. You are able to see the brighter one, that's crust, and the darker one, that's your troughs. These points are marked by crosses X. This type of interference is said to be constructive interference. At points where the crust of one curve wave meets the trough of another wave. The waves are in opposite phase. And the displacement is minimum and these points are considered as dark points. These points are marked by the circles O. The type of interference is said to be the destructive interference. Therefore, on your screen XY, the intensity of light will be alternatively maximum and minimum. The bright and dark bands which are referred to as interference fringes. The redistribution of intensity of light on account of the superposition of two waves is called interference. The intensity of light at a point due to a wave of amplitude A is given by I directly proportional to A square. If A1 and A2 are the amplitude of two interfering waves, then the intensity is I1 directly proportional to A1 square and I2 directly proportional to A2 square. So I1 divided by A2 is equal to A1 square divided by A2 square. For constructive interference, I max is directly proportional to A1 plus A2 whole square. And for destructive interference, I max divided by I min is equal to a1 plus a2 whole square divided by a1 minus a2 whole square.